43 past the hour on this Earth Day, we're taking a look at the Alabama Black Belt, where local news outlets say a crisis is in full swing as sewage water runs through the streets, pools up under people's homes, and flows into local playgrounds. Activists say the area, which is more than 20% black, is a case of environmental racism. Yamish Alcindor, moderator of Washington Week on PBS and NBC News's Washington correspondent, has been looking into this story. Yamish. Well, Jose, the situation in Lowndes County, Alabama, is shocking. Residents are struggling with failing waste systems or no systems at all. It's made life there incredibly challenging and led the Justice Department to open a civil rights investigation. The dark green waters across from Jerry Dean Smith's home hold a foul-smelling mix of human waste. It smells. It smells so bad. In Haynesville, Alabama, and many towns across Lowndes County, residents pay for sewage to flow into these lagoons. But here, many homes have failing sewage systems or none at all. You got waste running in people's yard, neighbors' yard. It backs up in the majority of these neighbors' homes. It backs up in the bathroom and on the floors. Smith and her neighbors say it's a health risk. In fact, one study found one out of every three adults here tested positive for hookworms, an intestinal parasite long thought to be eradicated. It's not necessary for this to be going on in 2022. It just shouldn't be in the United States. It shouldn't be. This is the wealthiest country. A sewage system should be a right. She and others believe this is racism blaming the state and local government for not installing a centralized sewage system. In Lowndes County, which is majority black, the poverty rate is nearly double the national average. At least 40% of homes have inadequate or no sewage systems at all. Catherine Coleman Flowers, who grew up here, is an environmental activist. You call this America's dirty secret, why? because it largely exists in rural communities and poor communities, and most people, when they find out about it, they're shocked. They don't believe that it's a reality in this country. Last November, the Department of Justice opened a civil rights investigation aimed at assessing whether the Alabama and Lowndes County Health Departments are discriminating against black residents. Earlier this month, the DOJ held its first public meetings here. Fed up residents sounded off. I hope that it's now coming to work it for real and not play it, not play us for stupid or crazy. Whether it's discrimination, uh, direct or indirect, the net result is we need waste management system. A state health official disagrees and says DOJ won't find any wrongdoing. They'll come out with the same conclusion I had. I've done my own investigation. I see no discrimination. If you flush your toilet, you're responsible. But your home is your property. It's private property. She even suggested residents use outhouses. You've got an outhouse on the outside and you got sewage on the ground. Environmentally, the outhouse is better. She has personally started a nonprofit pilot program to put septic tanks outside some homes. But she says that organization doesn't have resources to help everyone. In the meantime, residents like 78 year old Catherine Canyon are just trying to survive in squalid conditions. If I go in there, if it rains, and take a shower, I flush my stew, the waste coming back up, sometimes in my kitchen sink. So I don't use dish, I use paper plates. It got me disgusted. The sewage pooling below her trailer is rotting the floors. Recently, she says she broke her arm falling through the floor, but she can't afford to fix it or to move. How do you feel living in this state? Trap. Crap. Nowhere to go. But we just have to pray and have faith and hope tomorrow will get better. Amen. The Biden administration has requested $1.4 million from Congress to open an environmental justice office to investigate whether American civil rights are being violated in cases like this. And in the meantime, activists and residents in Alabama say they're concerned that government officials have the power to place liens on people's homes and even arrest residents in Lowndes County who don't have proper sewage systems, even if they can't afford them. Jose. 
Yamiche Alcindor, thank you for shining a light on this. Such an important story.